TSM has left the building, and by the building, I mean North America. Over the weekend, TSM CEO Reggie announced that after a decade-long presence in the league, TSM will no longer be fielding a team in the LCS. Some people are stunned, some people are sad, and some people are angry. Let's find out why. We have made the tough decision to start the process of transitioning to another tier one region. This may feel sudden, but to be honest, we've been actively working towards this for the last three years. That was Reggie on TSM's Twitter over the weekend, announcing their departure from the LCS and their relocation to a tier one region like Europe, South Korea, or China. At the time of recording, I'm still here at MSI in London. It's the day of the final, so I don't know what happened in the finals. No spoilers, please. And when Reggie made the announcement on Saturday, the eyes of the League of Legends community were fixed firmly on game three of the thrilling MSI lower bracket final between BLG and T1. Now, some people think that this was no accident, that TSM were hoping this controversial news would be buried underneath all the MSI news. Obviously, there's no way to know that for sure, but let's break down what Reggie said and why it's so controversial. First off, this hasn't come as a complete surprise to those paying attention recently. On March 31st, Sports Business Journal reported that TSM would be pausing their esports efforts in several titles and selling their LCS slots. The following day, Reggie tweeted that TSM was committed to esports, were planning on entering CSGO this year and will continue to enter and exit different esports scenes. It was an interesting insight into TSM's larger operational plans, but it wasn't confirmation of their exit from the LCS. This news is exactly that though. The video started off with a trip down TSM memory lane. Since the beginning, TSM has always been about competing at the highest level and really sacrificing whatever it takes to get there. We mainly did it out of passion. The money wasn't even enough for us to buy a bed and we ate at 7 Eleven every day. But that was also during the time where I had the most fun. And I want to go back to that type of decision making. I want to do what it takes to be the best. Now, to be honest, when I first watched that, I didn't really see an obvious link between eating from 7 Eleven and taking TSM out of the LCS. If I had to guess, though, it all relates to TSM's early days when Reggie seemed to have one goal for the team to win at all costs. TSM has always been about competing at the highest level. And every time we've gone to Worlds, we've failed to deliver and we've never brought back a trophy. And what that really means is the job is not finished. This was an era when they were on their way to being the most dominant team in North America. But those goalposts shifted over time. TSM entered more esports scenes. They became more than just a league team. They became a global brand, a multinational corporation. Perhaps Reggie feels that during that process from 7-Eleven to global enterprise, TSM lost sight of their original objective to win Worlds. Now, you could argue that the success that TSM had and its access to capital should have given it every opportunity at international success. On the other side of the argument, though, NA as a region has been terrible at Worlds. I don't need to remind you about their most recent performance at Worlds, where they went 3 and 15. And that kind of plays into Reggie's argument here, that the North American scene is incompatible with international success. Whether it's the infrastructure, the imports, the talent pool or development, something has never quite clicked. And to be honest, it shows no signs of changing. Now, you could pin that on orgs like TSM and say they're the ones who have done things wrong, but this announcement feels like like TSM pointing the finger back at the LCS and choosing to break the cycle by leaving the league altogether. This has angered some in the scene who feel TSM gave up on the LCS years ago and that their spot in the league would be better filled by someone else. But others have argued that TSM has been a real cornerstone of North American League of Legends, brought international exposure and invested massive amounts into their teams over the years. Of course, the counter argument to that is that although no one can deny the absolute dynasty that TSM have built in North America and the money they've invested into the scene over the years, none of that has really happened in recent years. A big question for me is, what will TSM actually be for fans after this? A North American team in a foreign region, a foreign team with North American roots, both of them or neither? If TSM changed their roster, their management, their location, their league, 
are they still TSM? We could get deep here. Is a team's identity rooted in their physical location, or does it only matter what the badge on the jersey is? Don't forget that T1, the face of Korean League of Legends for many Western fans, is a global enterprise with an American CEO at the top. But nobody would say that makes them American. So would the same be true of TSM if they moved to a new region? I think it's different. We recognize that SKT1's DNA as a Korean team was passed on to T1, no matter what was happening with management. Wherever TSM goes, they won't be inheriting anything. There will be no passing on of DNA from a previous team. I suspect they will always be seen as a North American team trying their luck in a new region. Some may remember when CLG played in OGN's Champions League in South Korea back in 2012 for a few months in an effort to sharpen their skills in a region that was quickly becoming home to the best teams in the world. But that was only for a few months and it felt like a North American team on tour. Nobody would argue that CLG became a Korean team during that time. With TSM, this feels different. As far as we know, TSM are going to be making a permanent move here. It feels like only their logo will remain. And even if you feel that this is technically a continuation of the TSM we've known for over a decade, is that actually what fans want? And does Reggie even care about that? If this is part of TSM's winning at all cost mentality, then are North American fans essential to that? And does Reggie even care about that? If this is all part of TSM's winning at all cost mentality, then are North American fans essential to that? And of course, the elephant in the room is, will this even work? And lastly, I want to thank the fans for being with us every step of the way. TSM would not be here today without you. I know this is a lot, but I'm really excited and I hope you guys are too. So let's go win a world championship. We only have a handful of examples to look at of teams setting up shop in another region to try and improve their results. We spoke a bit about CLG earlier, also LMQ coming to North America comes to mind, but there's not really been anything quite like this. Will a full-scale relocation of a League of Legends org to a Tier 1 region actually improve their results on Summoner's Rift? Will it improve their chances of qualifying for, performing at, and crucially, winning Worlds? And where exactly are they going? All Reggie said so far is a Tier 1 region. Whether this ship sinks or swims could come down to which region they choose. Europe, South Korea, China, they all have their own unique challenges and upsides. TSM's logo might be black and white, but this situation certainly isn't. I suspect the results of this audacious experiment won't be known for quite some time. After 13 years, TSM League of Legends is leaving North America. I'll see you back here when they find their new home. I just want to say really quick, I've been loving my time here at MSI. Amazing game, just great to see all the players on stage. I saw Faker in the flesh, that was really cool. Um, my favorite part has actually been meeting Quickshot. Quickshot the caster, amazing guy. I had a lovely little chat with him. Uh, yeah, awesome guy. Hopefully I can get the picture up on the screen somewhere around me uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, brilliant guy. Props to Quickshot.